Hi fairies and welcome back to my channel. So I want to do a chit chat, little get ready with me today because I feel like I have not talked to you guys in like forever. So I just wanted to talk about life, talk about some things that's been going on and just, you know, just get ready together. So have your brushes, have your hair brushes, have your got study sprays ready because we is about to get into it. Okay, so my brows are already done. Don't mind that. But this is not tech down. I think I want to start with my hair first because it is like slightly damp. I would say it's just like 90% dry, but <clears throat> I kind of want to put something in it. This hair does not need product at all, but I kind of like to put a little bit of this curl smoothie in. It's from Shea Moisture. It's just like a little travel size because I just got back from vacation and it was just on hand. But I really do like to use this. So I actually might go and buy the full size of this because this works really good in this hair. I don't know about any other hair, but for this specific hair, it works really good. Um, I've worn this hair like literally the entire time I was in Miami. I was there for about six days and this hair has not failed me. I am obsessed. You guys are going ham on my Instagram and my Snapchat when I wore this hair because it's just so freaking pretty. Um, but let me give y'all all the details on it, you know. This is from Asteria, Asteria Hair and this is their Afro Kinky Curly. But to be honest with y'all, I don't think nothing about this is Afro Kinky Curly at all. I think this is just like a regular Kinky Curly. I just think this is like a regular kinky curly. Um, I feel like when the ends are defined is when you really start to see the curls in it. But um, I just really like it. It is just so beautiful. I feel like it looks like a bohemian curl kind of. And I noticed that when I was on vacation and I put the product in the hair when it was about like almost dry and brushed it through. I kind of liked how the curls looked when I did that. So I've just been doing it the same way ever since. So my wig is not tacked down and I feel like it is like flying back. I actually might go and get some spray and spray it down just so it's not gonna move like while I do my makeup and stuff because we don't got time to be embarrassed out here and y'all making memes about me and shit spray down on this frontal part just up at the front because i'm gonna go down later and spray everything i got hair all over the place i'm gonna go in later and spray down like the whole you know front of it but i just want to do this part first because i kind of want it to dry just like this so i'm just going to take my little brush don't laugh at my brush but it got destroyed when I was on the plane and I just do not have time to go and get another one. But I'm just gonna spray the brush a little bit and then just comb it through the heart. I don't really put the product like all the way through the hair because I still like a little bit of frizziness. Um, I just think that makes it look a little bit more on the natural side. I feel like I need to put I just put it in select areas and then like this part per se I won't put anything there because I still like it to look a little bit more on the natural side obviously this is not my hair but this is not the style I'm gonna have it in I like it to dry like this but when it's dry I like to flip this side over and have it like a side part almost but I just think it looks better when it's dried in the middle part and then you flip it over and kind of put a few bobby pins in so it'll stay so yeah while the hair continues to dry i'm gonna move on to my hair i mean my face i mean my eyes what the hell so i got a ton of products in the mail um in my pr when i just came back i got a lot of makeup addiction brushes i got a few of their palettes and i also got a few other things and i'm also going to be showcasing my lashes to you guys today um that's pretty exciting i'm only gonna no i'm gonna show you guys one but i'm gonna wear another one most likely i'm gonna show you guys enticing and i'm gonna show you guys nita because those are like my two faves at the moment obviously i like all of them but i feel like those are going to be like the best sellers out of like all 10 of my lashes 
So I think I'm gonna do like a matte eye look. Um, this isn't really like a makeup tutorial. I'm not really gonna, you know, go in and say exact what colors and all that stuff. I'm just gonna put everything in the description because I really wanna talk to you guys like about a lot of things. So instead of this being like a makeup tutorial, I'm just going to do my makeup and just talk. So I have both of these palettes. I will show you guys like the palettes I'm using them because they're so pretty. But these are the two makeup addiction palettes that I got in the mail. This one is the metal palette and this one is the vintage palette. I love this one. I feel like I would use this one definitely for like every day and this one for like if I want a little bit more color. Okay, so if you guys did not know, I've literally been on vacation for like the past two weeks straight first i was in detroit for a little bit and then i came back to jersey for like one or two days and then went straight to miami for like six days and um i've just i literally feel like i have not even had a chance to freaking breathe like i'm not complaining in any way shape or form i feel like my life is just so blessed and you know, I've been waiting for this moment for some time now. Not even some time. I've been waiting for this moment for forever. <laughs> the moment that I could just relax, not really worry about going to a 9 to 5 job. I have a free schedule. I make my own schedule. You know, it, it's such a blessing to be able to live a life like that because it does not come often. So the fact that i'm still young i mean i'm 26 i think i'm pretty old but obviously people that's older than me looking at me like girl you are super young um i feel like for me to be so young you know this doesn't really come often so <clears throat> i always say all the time like i feel like i'm just you know such a blessed girl i do my prayers i say my thank yous you know um i just feel like i would not be in this space in this predicament if I didn't get saved um, about two years ago, a year and a half, two years ago, because that was like the lowest point of my life. We are not going to talk about that because we are not bringing back old demons. But that was just a very tough part of my life. And I feel like everything happens for a reason. I do not regret going through all of that. You know, it freaking sucked when I was going through all of it. But I don't regret it up until this point because I feel like God puts you in certain, you know, <clears throat> points in life for a reason because sometimes he has like a secret lesson for you and he wants you to learn some things. And, you know, it took me a while to really understand that saying and really get it because when you're really going through the things that you're going through at the time, you're like, this, like, I'm so over it. Like, I just want it to be over and done with. You know, why am I going through this? Why is he putting me through all this pain and suffering and, you know, emo emotional roller coasters and like all that stuff? Um, but it's like he's doing it for a reason. And, you know, that's pretty much what made me get through that whole mental depression um, space that I was in last year because I was definitely depressed. Like, I was just so freaking depressed. Like, I wasn't really on YouTube like that, I wasn't really posting like that. Like, I wasn't really on my shit like how I'm on my shit right now. And I feel like that's because I, you know, the space that I was in freaking sucked. So, I think that that is the only way that I really pulled myself through is because I kept looking at the light at the end of the tunnel. And I really just feel like that's kind of what you got to do in life. You know, there's going to be something. There's always going to be something, no matter what it is. Some gonna, some situations in your life is going to be obviously more dramatic and traumatic than others. But you kind of have to bring yourself up, you know? You're going to have to have people that surround you, that's positive. You, you kind of have to have people that are positive in your life. You have to have people that's pushing you forward. You can't have no negative people. That I think that's what can really bring you down in you know really tough situations is if you are having a tough situation and you have negative people around you that's not really going to be a good situation okay like you need to make sure that you are surrounding yourself with very positive and you know um people that just want to see you happy people that just want to see you succeed and i feel like that was definitely a learning experience for me um you know throughout the past year or so and you know ever since i started surrounding myself people that actually love me people that actually want to see me be happy people that actually want to see loresia andrea succeed and you know grow and do all this stuff my life has just like 
like skyrocketed, you know? I'm sitting here preaching to y'all, okay? So I think I'm gonna do like a matte eye look. I don't really know exactly what kind of look I wanna do, but we're just gonna play around in some colors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, I feel like so much is happening in my life and I just feel like, you know, I'm just so happy with how everything is going. Like I'm starting my own business. Um, that is so freaking stressful. I don't know if anyone else has a business out there, but literally starting your own business and being an entrepreneur and being your own boss and not having someone tell you what to do and how to do it, you know, and all the things like that. It is so freaking hard. Like it is so hard, but you know what? I decided that I wanted to go the hard route when it comes to, you know, having my own business and doing things for myself and figuring shit out for myself because I have just learned that I just do better when I just take care of things on my own time. Take care of things on my own time. Take care of things the way that I want to take care of things and have things just be the way that I want it to be. I just learned that I just do not do well with people telling me what to do. I don't do well with too many opinions i don't do well with too many people being involved um you know working in that type of space like i just feel like i'm just so much better with doing things with like one or two people or people that you know are actually my friends people that are actually in my corner and all that like i just am just i'm just figuring shit out like literally i'm just figuring things out in my life figuring things out in a way that i want to have my career figuring things out in the way of just how I want to live my life. And I think that's just kind of what your 20s is all about. Your 20s is all about just finding yourself. And <clears throat> I feel like I've definitely been going through that this entire time. Um, you know, I, I kind of want to talk about this because I feel like this is kind of personal. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of people can relate to it. So I'm going to just talk about it. But... When I was in Detroit, I made like a super, 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 super impulse decision, right? And I decided that I wanted to go and <clears throat> make an appointment to get lipo, right? So, um, you know, I feel like that impulse really came from watching people on YouTube, seeing people on social media, seeing all these girls that are like super duper skinny with these hourglass bodies and seeing all these people, you know, go through the procedure and their bodies coming out bomb. And, you know, I wanted to, I was feeding into the social media stereotype, looking at all these girls and being like, damn, like, you know, like I want my body just like that, you know? And I decided to make my appointment when I was out in Detroit a few weeks ago. And it was super impulsive. I feel like I'm a very impulsive person. Like I really, a lot of times, need somebody to tell me to just sit my ass down. Like I feel like that is like my boyfriend's job because it's been so many moments when I just make like super impulsive decisions, no matter what it is. It could be something super retarded. And I'll just make like a super like random decision and he'll just look at me like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, sit your ass down in a damn corner and just put your damn phone down and just stop talking. Like, like not in a controlling way, but obviously like, you know, I'm, it's all funny games. But it's like, I just make like super random decisions sometimes. And I really do need somebody in my life to tell me to just stop it, you know, you're overreacting, you're overthinking, like, what the hell are you doing? Like, stop, you know? And that is definitely my boyfriend's job. Thanks, hubby. <laughs> so yeah, I was in Detroit and I made the impulsive decision that I wanted to go and get lipo in Miami, you know? So I made my appointment and everything. I put my deposit down for everything. I got my recovery house um, reservation for a week and like all this stuff, right? So um, when I pretty much told my family that I was doing this, like obviously my family was really supportive. That is one thing about my family, no matter how retarded the decision is, they're still gonna be supportive. And I feel like that's just how my family is, that's how my friends is, that's how my boyfriend is. That's just how everybody in my life is. And you know, I love them for that. They kind of just let me kind of go my own route in life. 
And it's like, they let me make my own decisions. They're not really going to tell me what to do because at the end of the day, I'm grown and I make my own decisions. But it's like, when I change my mind, I'd be like, you know what? I'm not going to do X, Y, and Z. They'd be like, okay, girl, because I was going to say, and it's like, you look at them like, girl, like you could have told me this a long ass time ago that you did. You felt this way. Like, you know? And it's like, they let me make my own decisions, but I feel like that's what you should do. Like, you should let people make their own decisions and let people come to their own terms with what they want to do with their life because at the end of the day, it's their own life. So, I made the decision that I wanted to get my lipo done, like, you know, put my down, the, down payment down and like all this stuff, right? Super impulsive. Like, I never talked about me getting lipo or nothing. I literally just came out of nowhere and just made the freaking appointment in Miami, right? So, um, I told my family about it and was like, yeah, I'm going out to Miami to get my body done. They're like, oh, cool, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you want to do it, do it, go ahead, blah, blah, blah. Just make sure, you know, that you check your research and all this stuff. Obviously, they want you to be safe, but, you know, make sure that you, you know, are doing your research. Make sure that this place is good. Make sure X, Y, and Z, right? Doing what a family and friends and boyfriend should do, right? So... Um, I'm not going to say that I even need the light bulb. I just literally feel like I just made the appointment because I just wanted to make the appointment because I got, as anyone else probably does, I got freaking, um, and I got, what the heck is the word I'm trying to say? I got influence from watching social media and looking at all these people's bodies looking freaking bomb, right? So I'm not going to say I'm the skinniest girl in the world and I'm not going to say I'm the biggest girl in the world. I feel like I am coming to terms with my body type and understanding my body type and understanding just how I am as, you know, uh, I'm a very thick girl. Not, like, it's not even like I'm thick. How do I even describe my body type? Like I have very big boobs, I have a flat stomach, but I have a hips and an ass, you know? And, you know, when I made the decision that I wanted to get lipo, pretty much, you know, people around me were just kind of looking at me like, what the hell are you getting lipo for? They're not going to, they didn't say it, but I feel like that's exactly what they were thinking. Like, bitch, like your body is freaking bomb. Like, what are you trying to get sucked out? Like, I don't understand. Like, people pay to get your boobs. People pay to get your ass and hips. Like, what are you trying to suck out? Your stomach? You got a flat stomach. Like, what are you doing? But we're not going to say anything. We're going to let you make your own decisions. But it's like, I feel like everybody was looking at me like, why are you wasting gay? What are you, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Right? What am I trying to say? My freaking camera died. So I was just sitting here talking to myself the entire time. And you guys wasn't even listening to me. So that's cool. I just finished the rest of my eyes off. Um, this eye look is just like so freaking simple. It's just all matte. We're just gonna keep it real simple today. But I wanted to show you guys my lashes. So <clears throat> this is not the packaging that the lashes are gonna be in. It's just my sample packaging. But I wanted to show you guys the enticings and the Nita lashes. So um, I decided that I wanted to name my lash line. First of all, my my lash line is named Ilor um, with the letter I and then L A U R. So um, I actually decided to name all of my lashes after all the women in my family. So my aunts, my grandma, my great aunts, um, my mom. Uh, just like all the women that are pretty much makes my family like a whole so um, that was just something really special to me so um, and I feel like if it wasn't for the women in my family I would not be the woman that I am today like we are all just so independent we are all just so driven we are all just you know great and powerful women so why not you know contribute that into my brand because they are who really pushed me to be who I am today um, I got all soul and cute, but I want to show you guys enticing and Nita. So enticing is after my mom's name. Her name is Ticey and Nita is after my grandmother because her name is Paul Nita. So these are the Nita lashes and they look like this. Again, this is not the packaging. It is just um, the samples and all of my mink lashes are Siberian mink and cruelty free and the price is going to be at $17. These are definitely like $30 lashes that I am giving for $17 because 
there are no lashes on the market that look like this like this legit mink freaking fur um and 3d and just so like vo -vo -vo that you know i'm giving it for the cheap cheap okay i really just wanted my whole line to be affordable whether it was my hair my lashes or whatever i really wanted it to be so that everything anyone from any type of pay grade could be pretty much be able to afford you know so um and this is not cheap hair this is not cheap lashes all this is expensive stuff that i am giving for extremely affordable prices so like i tell you guys all the time don't tell me i ain't the plug okay so <clears throat> these are the enticing lashes and i decided to name these enticing because my mom actually goes by the name Enticy when it comes to her nickname i don't really know why you know, I've just <laughs> grown up to know that that is kind of what she goes by. But if you think of the word enticing, it means like something that you want, something that is like calling your name, something that is very like eye catching, you know? And I feel like these are my most dramatic and my biggest lashes that I have in my whole entire line. I will be having 10 lashes and these are the most like, whoa, like, you know, I did have a picture. I will probably put it in a video somewhere but when i had like my all red my hat and my um red shirt and my blonde hair i did have my enticing lashes on you guys were like what the hell lashes are those and i was like it's a secret i can't tell y'all yet so i think today i'm going to end up wearing the needle lashes only because you guys have seen me wear these already and i don't really want to repeat i kind of want to start showing everything from my line little by little by little so we are going to be wearing the um needle lashes today so ooh yeah ooh yeah okay so the lashes are on let me get close so y'all can see real quick so these are the needles and the glue is so drying so like i don't know what's going on i cannot i literally think that my best selling ones are going to be the needles which are these and the enticings I just feel like, you know, you cannot go wrong with neither. So I'm gonna move on to my face. But like I was saying before, um, about like the whole light bulb situation and stuff. So I booked my appointment when I was in Detroit or whatever, and I asked everyone, you know, my family members and everyone how they felt about it. Um, uh, my friends, my family, my boyfriend and everyone, everyone pretty much just said, you know, whatever you want to do, we're all for it. Like whatever decision that you make pretty much like we're all for it or whatever so it's like okay well if everyone's like all for it like you know like i'm probably just going to go ahead and do it so um a few weeks have gone past probably been about like three weeks now and you know i started having second thoughts because it was just kind of like i just feel like when i went to miami and i i never i never really post pictures like of myself full body on my social media i don't know if anyone has noticed that but i never really post like you know full body pictures of myself so um when i was posting you know my whole entire body when i was out in miami people were just like girl like what the hell like you know we didn't know your body was looking like this like what the hell girl you got like straight body goals so really like that's when my confidence started going up because i felt like i was just like you know i just felt i just i don't know like i haven't really been like a hundred percent like you know yo my body is like bomb like i felt like i had like i have like a really big ass <laughs> and i feel like nowadays like having a big butt is like definitely a goal of a lot of people's so i felt like i had big boobs and a big butt you know but i didn't feel like my stomach was like the i don't know like i have a flat stomach but i'm trying to explain like how i felt i cannot get my eyelash together right now but i cannot describe like how i felt it was just like i felt like my stomach wasn't like as hourglass as i've seen a lot of people on social media so i felt like you know my stomach wasn't the greatest and 
that just goes to prove that you know social media influence is like a real thing like i feel like a lot of people really do go through the the same things that i go through and it's like you guys probably look at me like girl like you're a freaking youtuber you know like and all this stuff and you should have like the most confidence in the world and you know everybody goes through this i'm pretty sure like even celebrities go through it the same thing you know what i'm saying because there's so many celebrities and so many socialites going out there getting their bodies done because of why they're looking at other people and looking at somebody else get their body done and they kind of get influenced from that to be like oh my god like, you know like her body looks so good like i want body to look like that or whatever so um i just felt like when i was in miami and i was posting my body and posting you know what my body shape really looks like and all that stuff you guys are kind of just like girl like your body is like freaking bomb like why have you been hiding this this entire time like your body is freaking amazing like i wish i had boobs that big i wish i had a butt and hips that big like i wish i had a flat stomach you know what i'm saying so i feel like miami had it it's ups and downs I feel like my trip to Miami definitely had its ups and downs, but I also feel like it definitely let me gain my confidence in aspects where I definitely needed it. And it really gave me my confidence to really showcase what my body really looks like. And I'll probably insert pictures somewhere in the video of the pictures that I was posting when I was out in Miami, whatever, like on my story, my Snapchat and stuff um just so you guys can like understand like how i'm trying to describe like what my body looks like and i pretty much decided that you know at the last minute that you know i don't really think i want to go through with the light bulb like i just feel like if i want my stomach to be smaller like i have a flat stomach but it's like if i want my stomach to be smaller i can just work out you know like i don't want to be extremely skinny you know like i don't want to get extremely small because i like a little meat on my bones like i don't like to look anorexic i don't want to look like you know i need to eat i like being thick i like being you know the shape that i am now <laughs> now but um you know i like being like you know having big boobs and having a butt and like having hips and all that stuff like people like i said people go and get their bodies made to look like mine you know so it definitely boosted my confidence just you know just being like you know f it i'm just going to just start posting what i really look like uh because it's been like a mystery this whole entire time so um i definitely feel like i started posting myself people started giving me more and more and more confidence or whatever and that just goes to show that like you don't need to look like everyone like you don't need to look like the perfect hourglass back in the day type of body shape like you don't need to have the biggest ass in the world you don't need to have the biggest boobs in the world you don't even need to have the flattest stomach in the world like there are people out there that consider themselves beautiful and they have like a gut like you know what i'm saying like it's like whatever you feel makes you beautiful and whatever you feel that makes you comfortable and you know it's just kind of like you don't have to fit in with everyone and i feel like that was definitely like a life lesson and a lesson learned to myself just be like you know what i'm confident in who i am i'm confident in the way that i look i am confident in, in the way my body is you know my man loves it my family thinks i look good my friends think i look good like my friends was telling me like the whole entire trip like girl like your body is fucking bomb like big like your body is freaking bomb like i don't understand like why you don't be posting it like why don't you post yourself why don't you showcase like all of this like you know and like it definitely gave me my confidence like it really did like I, it really did me going to miami really just made me come out of my shell and just like a different aspect and i'm just so happy about that you know and i also feel like i want to like take my channel a little bit further um out of the box that i've been doing i want to start doing clothing hauls i want to just start you know showcasing different clothes and stuff on like my body type because i'm pretty sure i'm not the only person in this world to have the body type like myself like i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that have the same you know assets that i do so i want to start have people relate to me a little bit more other than hair and makeup you know so i feel like this is when i want to start like my 
whole journey of just kind of transitioning my whole entire channel like of course I'm going to start keep doing my hair and makeup because you know I can never go wrong with that but I want to start integrating you know clothing hauls and stuff like that into my channel let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that it's a little bit out of the ordinary for me I'm not really used to doing stuff like that <laughs> but I want to step out of my comfort zone and I want to start doing a little bit more things on that type of level you know okay so i pretty much just finished my entire face because i didn't want this video to be like extra long um so i'm just going to finish off with my highlight and my lips and just kind of talk to you guys about like my whole new jersey meetup so um when i started doing my orders for my kinky straight hair to go out and by the way if you guys did not order yet make sure that you do between today and tomorrow um because june 2nd is the last day that i'm taking orders and orders will start to go out on june 4th it's not to say that your specific order will go on june 4th that's just when the orders will start to go out and it's really just like who really ordered first and who pretty much ordered last i'm gonna go as you know the time of the order started coming in i just think that's only fair because you know that's just way life is but um don't worry your your hair will go out that week so don't think that you're you're not going to get your hair for like another three weeks from now because it will go out the week of june 4th um so yeah i noticed that when i was doing my orders that a lot of my followers are from new jersey and if you guys did not know i live in jersey right now um yeah i live in jersey right now i didn't know what else but what, what else i wanted to say but i live in jersey right now and i don't know if i like this brush judas but i just think it's kind of getting all over the place i don't know what the hell's going on but yeah um yeah like what the fudge i live in jersey currently and i think that i want to have like my first meetup so um, being that a lot of you guys are in New Jersey and a lot of my supporters are in like um, the tri-state area, I only think it's a little bit, you know, right to have a Jersey meetup. So, why not the perfect time? Um, it's going to be next week, June 8th. My boyfriend is having his single release party at Aura Nightclub. Um, it used to be like a whole different club. I think it was called, I literally forgot the name of the club. But I know that club got shut down, but they reopened it to call it Aura Nightclub. But it's in Elizabeth. So um, I will leave all the info down below. But my boyfriend is having his single release party at Aura Nightclub. And of course, I'm going to be there as well. Um, just support him. Just be there because this is a really big thing for him. Um, um, you know, everyone likes to see like their significant other or their boyfriend prosper in life. And this is so exciting. So I decided that I think I want to have like my first little, you know, thing. It's not going to be as intimate as it would have been if it was just, you know, a more calm type of environment but i don't really go out like that and also i don't really know how i feel about having like personal meetups only because i'm like super freaking paranoid and <laughs> this world is crazy so it's like i'm not really that comfortable having like um you know more intimate type of settings with meetups i would rather it be like a lot of people around and people that i know is going to be around me and stuff like that <laughs> Like, I don't know how I'm sound, how I'm saying this, but like, I'm like super freaking paranoid. But yeah, so if you guys, my wig is definitely falling back, like, it is pissing me off. So yeah, if you guys are in the area and you're not doing nothing on June 8th, um, that night, I believe the club opens from 10 to 3, but me and my husband will be there. So if you guys want to see us, if you want to take pictures, if you want to talk to us, we're definitely going to be there because we want to say hi to everyone. Um, I feel like my boyfriend's going to be getting the most attention. Um, I'm not getting jealous or anything, but I just feel like you guys are more obsessed with my boyfriend than you are with me. I'm not getting upset or nothing or whatever, but I just feel like, you know, you guys are my fairies and you guys are more obsessed with husband than you are of Dorisha Andrea. I'm just saying. But it's all good. You know, I'm not a jealous person or whatever. You know, he got his little fans too. 
But, you know, if you guys want to meet me, if you want to meet him, if you want to take pictures with me, if you want to take pictures with him, I feel like he's going to get the most pictures. But again, I'm not hating on nothing. But whatever. So, if you guys want to see us, we are going to be there June 8th. So, definitely come out, say hi, you know, support me in the Bay. And it will be like a really nice type of thing, you know. Um, maybe seeing, depending on how this like whole little meetup or whatever goes, I will pretty much decide if I want to do like another type of um, meetup or like a, a get together or like something like that or like an event. I haven't really decided because I kind of just want to see how this whole thing goes next week. So, so yeah, I am definitely excited to meet all of you guys. Um, I feel like a lot of you already see me like out because I'm not like I'm in Jersey. So obviously you live in the same area of me as me and you like see me out whether it's shopping or whatever. Um, definitely say hi. Um, a lot of you get like a really, really, really nervous. It's like you guys see me and my boyfriend out and you're like, oh my God, like you won't say anything to me, but then you'll DM me and be like, oh my God, I saw you and you know, your boyfriend out, but I was too nervous or too scared to say hi. I didn't want to interrupt you guys or whatever. Like we are not like that. Like we are really friendly. He's actually more friendly than I am. Like my boyfriend is definitely more personable than I am. Not to say that I'm a bitch or anything, but it's like, I get really shy really nervous around people and he's more like the person of like hey you know I wish I could be like that sometimes but not all the time <laughs> but it's like I wish sometimes I could you know have the same personality as him because his personality is just so big and mine is just more like mellow um but yeah, he would probably be the one to say hi and like be on your face before I would. But like I said, it's not in a way that's like, oh my God, like Laura's just mad stink. It's kind of in a way of like, oh my God, I'm mad nervous. Like, what do I say to you guys type of thing, you know? Um, I'm like the sweetest, nicest person ever. I'm just extremely shy. And to some t to some of you, you're maybe like, what? Like, girl, you are not shy the way you be on YouTube. It's a difference between being in my house and recording and talking to myself practically. My wig is sliding all the way to fuck back. It's a difference between being in my house and recording and not having anyone around and talking to a camera than it is to be out in public and, you know, be in front of you guys that are actually watching me and being like, oh my God, like, do what do I do? Like, you know? And that's a lot of times that's how I get. Like, I get so nervous. It's so freaking weird, but I really do. Okay, so I kind of pulled my wig back because I'm going to finally tack it down. So I'm gonna just do what I normally do, you know, spray my got to be spray and blow dry it for about five seconds and then tack it down with my fingers. So this part most likely would just be fast forward through because you guys see me do this all the time. So y'all. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I went ahead and put my cool tricks on or whatever because I want to look like a little different bitch today. And put my jewelry and stuff on. Put my earrings on. My little baby hoops. <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm just going to. 
I don't know guys, should I do middle part or should I do side part? I guess I can try to kind of show you guys what both really look like, really, honestly. So, this is the middle part. Let me show you guys what the, what the hair like really looks like. Um, it looks like this, and this is the bottom. So, 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 so nice. I wear this hair all the time, like all the time like all the time like this is definitely the hair that if i want to just have like an effortless curly look um this or like deep wave it's so crazy because i felt like when i first got this hair it reminded me more of like a deep wave type of curl but <clears throat> once i saw the ends of it and you know the hair before it had product and stuff in it that's when i was like okay oh, hey, like maybe this is considered more like a kinky curly type of thing because Deep Wave doesn't really get this kinky, pretty much. So I guess, you know, this is considered like kinky wave, or kinky wave, <laughs> kinky curly. <laughs> so this is what the hair looks like in the middle part. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I'm just kind of going in the roots and kind of fluffing it up a little bit. Um, only so that we can kind of like, you know, have it a little bit more like, you know, natural looking. Like I said, this I like it to be a little bit um, on the frizzy side. I don't like it to be too tame because I think it looks um, a little bit too fake when it's too tamed. So I'll just kind of like fluff it up and finger comb it a little bit just at the beginning so that it's a little bit more like, you know, like this. So cute. So freaking cute. I freaking love this hair this is my all-time favorite hair so i'm not gonna go in and put like baby hair and stuff because you're not even gonna see it because i'm wearing it in like a middle part so it's kind of you know pointless for me to do it i'm just gonna bring like a little bit of hair forward so you guys can really see it so yeah that is pretty much the end of the video um i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you liked my little rambling i had going on i was talking about a lot i like literally was like jumping topics throughout like the whole video but it's cool or whatever because some people like to hear me talk so just a forewarning if you guys don't really like talking videos don't watch this just go to one of my other videos because i do a ton of talkovers voiceovers voiceovers so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more try on videos and more chit chat talk through videos. I really like to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope to see you in my next one. Deuces.